The following video is strictly for educational purposes only. Viewer discretion is advised. Here is an Instagram page for a club near my area in Toronto. Here is another one of those pages. This one is for another club. Wait a second, did you catch that? These nightclub photographs are not real. They have all been generated by AI and this is my theme page. I created this nightclub promotions page as a way to make money. This is how to do it. First, you'll need to create an Instagram account. You can create up to five different accounts on one phone number. They can be personal accounts, they can be brand accounts, but it's best to do it from your mobile phone. So I created this Instagram page and first I needed a name. For that, I went over to ChatGPT and you don't have to use GPT-4 for something like this. I like to change it to GPT-3.5, no limit. You guys on the free version can use this as well. And I wrote, give me 10 different names for a nightclub photography Instagram page. And ChatGPT spat out a bunch of usernames. We have Club Shutter Magic, Party Paparazzi Hub. How about Rave Rhythms Visuals? I like that one. But in my last generation, it gave me the idea of promotions and I wanted a little bit of a catchy, trendy vibe. Something with a punch. And so I came up with my ex promotions. Kind of relates to the nightclub scene, flirting, drinking, new relationships. I loved it. Now we have to write a bio. And for that, we're going to use other theme pages as inspiration. This is another nightclub Instagram page. And what does it say here? It says torontoclubs.com is the leading entertainment destination that inspires and enables people to make the most of Toronto. Not bad. Here is club crawlers. Okay, it gives a website for all things hashtag Toronto nightlife. I want something like that. Special events and tickets, bottle service and guest list. I think this would be perfect. I'm gonna copy this. Let's go to our theme page, go to edit profile, and we're gonna paste this into the bio, but we'll edit a few things. All right, we're going with for all things hashtag nightlife, special events and tickets, bottle service and guest list. These are all nightclub terms. People are gonna land on this page and understand what it's about. But this is looking pretty empty. Now we're gonna to need to generate some photos, some AI nightclub photography, and we'll do this with Midjourney version six. It's the newest model of Midjourney, just came out. It makes photorealistic images better than any AI image generator out there. Let's set it up. To start, we're gonna to go to midjourney.com, and when you scroll down here, you'll see a button that says join the beta. I'm gonna click this. Midjourney works through Discord as a Discord bot. So you have to connect your profile. This page is gonna pop up. It has my Discord username, Wes Frank. I'm gonna scroll down, hit authorize, and it'll bring you to this homepage. Hover over the bottom left corner, hit manage subscription, and you're gonna need a paid plan. Unfortunately, there is no free trial, no free tier. The smallest plan is the basic plan. It's $10 per month. And with that, you get around 200 generations. If your account starts getting bigger, you start handling more clients. You can opt for a higher plan. But for now, the basic plan is more than enough. I've already subscribed. And when it's active, you get access to the Midjourney server. You'll land in the Getting Started channel. And there's two ways to generate images. This is the way I like to do it. Hover over the right side and find the Midjourney bot. We're gonna click this, and then we're gonna add this app to our own server. If you don't have a server yet, in the bottom left corner, click add a server, go to create my own. You can skip this question for now. And I'm gonna call this server nightclub photography. Hit create. Now when I click on that bot again, add app, I can select that new server, nightclub photography, hit continue, authorize it into your channel. And now in your server, you have the Midjourney bot as an active participant. You can now start generating images. Now we're gonna need to adjust the settings to make sure that our image generations look as real as possible. So to do this, we're gonna go slash settings, and that's a command to the Midjourney bot that's gonna allow us to adjust the features. You'll probably land on the default model, which is version 5.2. There is a new model, version six. You're gonna click this. It's an alpha stage, select it. Next, we're gonna to need to go to raw mode. Raw mode listens to your prompt the best. And I have a prompt for you guys. So we're gonna click raw mode 
And then I like to select stylize low. The higher the stylize, the more mid journey is going to go off the rails, but it's a give and take because your images sometimes look a lot better, but I've spent a lot of time on this prompt. So we're going to go raw mode, stylize low. You can leave every other setting the same. And to get our first prompt, we're going to use a custom GPT. This is club photography. It's a custom GPT that generates nightclub photo ideas and they're all attached to a specific prompt that I want you to use. You start this GPT by writing go. In case you're curious, this is how this custom GPT was made. I wrote task, you are a custom GPT that generates club photography ideas. And the process is simple. It writes five one sentence prompts to be used in an image generator. Each prompt should start with these keywords. I found that nightclub candid photography, disposable camera, and hip hop aesthetics, those keywords create the best outputs for the types of images that we're trying to create. And I got that by using the describe feature in mid journey. If you type in dash describe and then upload an image, it's going to describe that image almost like GPT four vision. And I look through all these prompts and I took the most consistent keywords. I say that each prompt should only be one sentence. Don't describe the surroundings, only what people are doing in the scene. This custom GPT kept spitting out longer prompts talking about nightclubs. We don't need that. We know it's in a nightclub and then don't exceed 200 characters. And then I gave it a bunch of examples. So it knows exactly what to create. This custom GPT will be completely free to use. I'm going to drop a link in the description below if you're interested and all you got to do is write go. And here it's spat out five ideas. If I can't think of anything, I'll go here and then adjust the prompts as need be. But let's grab this number three. I like this one. Again, I don't want the neon lights part back in our mid journey server to generate images. You'll use the command slash imagine, and then I can paste in my prompt and hit enter to generate images. It takes about 30 seconds. You can slowly watch them being created. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this, go open in browser. And now we have to look through these images, both to see which one we like and to see if there are any flaws. AI image generators will do weird stuff like add fingers or remove fingers or add extra teeth. We want to look through, inspect these photos and make sure they look real enough. So this first one's pretty good. I like the second one too. I'm looking at the fingers. Fingers look fine here. This guy's holding the phone in a proper way with his hand. Ooh, this one's really good. This bottom right one. I think I want to use this. So I'm just going to double check there are five fingers and here's the last one for comparison. So I think we got it. I think it's this fourth one. If we find a picture we like, we're going to use these buttons down here. U4 means to upscale the fourth image. I'm going to click this. It's going to make it bigger. I can now right click save image to my computer. Next, we're going to use another custom GPT. This one is also free to use. It's called image caption generator. So it generates Instagram captions and hashtags. You start by uploading an image. And again, for all you custom GPT builders, this is how it was made. I have a task, a process. I just tell it to analyze the uploaded image, compose a creative and relevant caption for the photo, and then generate five hashtags. And then I end the prompt with some examples so it knows exactly what to spit out. Again, there's a link in the description below. So I'm going to go to this paperclip icon, click this and upload that new photo. Once it's ready, just send it through and we get something like this. Capturing moments with the crew where the vibe is as lit as the flash <laughs> and then some emojis, hashtag squad goals, hashtag night to remember, hashtag friendship goals, hashtag party nights. Hashtag making memories. I love this. So I'm going to copy this to clipboard, go back to my Instagram page and hit this plus button to upload a photo. I'm going to select that photo from my computer. Perfect. Go next, no filters, and then paste in that caption. And then when we're ready, hit share. There we go. We have our first post on our nightclub Instagram theme page. You'll notice that we're still missing a profile picture after we've generated a lot of these nightclub photographs. We can just select one to make our profile picture. So I look through all of these and I grab this one. So I'm going to go to edit profile, change profile picture. Now, how do you make money? 
I asked GPT-4 how to make money with Instagram theme pages, and it gave these five ideas. First is sponsored posts. When you have a large following, you can charge $50, $100, even $200 per post for a shout out to another company, another business, another page, or maybe even a nightclub. You can do affiliate marketing. You can partner with another brand and help sell their products to your followers. When you make a new post, you can say, hey, check out the link in the bio. And if that follower makes a purchase, you get a commission. You can sell your own merch. You can design your own t-shirts. You can make caps, nightclub accessories. You can sell cameras, glow sticks. You can sell shot glasses. Lots of ideas there. You can charge for promoting events. Other nightclubs may contact you and say, hey, we got a big event coming up. Most of your followers are in your city's area. Can you promote my club on your page? And then they also say to host events. That's probably way down the line, but if you're serious with this, having a nightclub photography theme page is great for networking. But here's another idea. These nightclub pages are desperately needing new content. They want to grow their following. They want to showcase their club. They want to showcase nightlife. And the cool thing about the images we generate, you can never tell where they are. Like, could you point out which nightclub this photo was taken at? I couldn't. So Google all the nightclubs in your area. They probably all have an Instagram page. Go to their page. Check out their recent content. This club hasn't posted in five weeks. They need fresh content. So I would send them a DM and you can use this script. I go, hey, 44 Toronto, but you fill in whatever name is their club. I'm Wes, lead creator at My X Promotions. You put your theme page name there. And we specialize with creating unique AI nightclub photos. How about fresh daily content for your feed? I offer this for just a $200 per month retainer. You can charge whatever you'd like. You can check out my page for samples. And then I go, interested? Let's chat. Cheers. So I'd start sending these direct messages to every club in my city, slowly expand from there, start getting a client base, and you can start generating AI nightclub photos on the regular. Before you start reaching out to people, you might want to grow your own following a bit. Now you can do this organically by generating a new photo in Midjourney, bringing that photo over to the image caption generator, and then grabbing that caption. I'm going to upload that post paste it in with the hashtags. Hashtags is what is going to give you impressions on the feed. I'm going to hit share and you're going to post one to three images per day with five hashtags each. And hopefully over some time, you'll start to gain momentum. But there's also a black hat way to do this. Now, just a word of warning. I don't know Instagram's terms of service. This could get your account banned, but I do know a lot of pages that have done this. You can go to blackhatworld.com. It's a form for all black hat tactics online. And I'm gonna to go to the marketplace and click social media panels. Now you can scroll through these and use any of the panels. I like to look at the views and the number of upvotes. So this one has 232, it seems to be well respected. And I'll find this website URL and we're gonna search for Instagram. And we can see all of these order options. These are all bots. These are not real, but you may want to give your post some fake likes and some fake followers. So it doesn't look so empty here. This is telling me that's a dollar 20 per 1000 fake followers. So if I wanted 50,000 followers, I can quickly do the math 50,000 divided by 1000 times dollar 20, 60 bucks to get 50,000 fake followers on Instagram. I don't know how many of them would stick. Instagram can usually detect bots, fake followers, and remove them from your account. So I don't think an order of 50,000 would get you 50,000. Might end up with 20,000 or so. But again, I don't recommend this. I'm just teaching this for educational purposes. I know a lot of you already know this exists. Buying fake clout, but it is a way to get ahead and have other businesses respect you more because you have more likes on your posts and more followers. But please don't sell people sponsored posts if you have fake followers. That's really unethical. You don't want other people wasting their money. You wouldn't want that either. So be careful with this information. Now, you don't have to log in each day and create a post. 
Meta's business suite actually has a content planner. You're gonna Google Meta business suite, you're gonna log in with your Instagram account, and then you can go to the planner tab, and you can start scheduling posts in the future. So you can bulk make post, get it all set up for the month, and then you don't have to worry about it again. So I've done two for today, that's good. Let's schedule one for tomorrow. I'm gonna to hover over schedule, click schedule post. Here pops up a calendar. Let's say I wanna schedule this for noon, and then save this. Now we can add photo video. I'm gonna upload from my desktop. Here's another photo of a woman laughing joyfully. I like this generation a lot. Here is the caption that I generated with the image caption generator, and then I can click schedule. So now tomorrow at noon, this post will go live on my page. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like the other ones that are shown on the screen right now. Come check them out. It might teach you something about AI. That's it for now. See ya.